So now we're going to cover how to inspect and debug your Angular applications. I'll be showing you how to do this in Chrome. The only plugins that are available to do any decent Angular debugging are in Chrome only. So to do this, head over to the Chrome Web Store and just search for Angular. And then you'll find there's a couple of extensions that pop up. Now, firstly, you're going to think you want to install the official AngularJS. It's called Batarang plugin. This one here. I'm actually not going to recommend that you install this one. The latest versions have been having issues with compatibility with Angular and the latest versions of Chrome. So don't install the official AngularJS Batarang version. Instead, I'm going to ask you to install two other ones. The one is called ng inspector. And the other one is you'll find it's called Angular, Ang Angular JS Batarang stable, which is an older version of the Batarang plugin. So to show you how they work, I'm going to go to the last example where we were working on the lists of things. And to begin with, I'm going to show you the Batarang plugin. So if we go to the page, Inspect element. I'm just going to zoom in on the bottom tab. And you'll see we'll have on the right hand side another tab called AngularJS. So let's just hit that. Make sure the checkbox of enable is clicked. Once you click it, it will refresh the page. And you'll see it's got a couple of different tabs here. So I'll just quickly go through these. So the first one is a scopes. So as you click on the different scopes, you can see it's capturing all the data for that scope. So here it's the parent scope with all the persons. It's all there. And these subscopes would be for each row. There we go. So that's one. The other tab is performance. So if we click on there, you can see what it's doing is it's giving us, on the right hand side is the most useful. So it's telling us really how long each of these expressions are taking to calculate. Um, so for us, the longest, the longest expression here is converting the birth date to a date. If you're having problems with performance, it is good just to head on into the performance tab and just give it a go. And those are the only two tabs I think are really very useful in Batarang. You can have a play around with the other tabs if you want, but they don't really provide much benefit. The one really useful thing about Batarang is if we were to inspect an element. So we're here and let's go to the TR. So we're selecting that row. And then we go to the console. You can see now the scope variable is available from the console for that row. So here we go. So there's the person object and there's the index because we've clicked on the first row. So that's Batarang. Let's have a look at ng inspector. So when you install ng inspector, it adds an icon to your toolbar. And to activate it, all you have to do is just press it. And what it does is it puts an overlays a panel on the right hand side of your screen. And it just shows all of your controllers, all of the scopes within your application, you can dig in. And if you if you watch search as I type something in, you can see that it is listening to changes on search and, and rendering them as well. And you can dig into persons like that. There's not much else that ng inspector does. But if you just want a quick look into your angular application without really going into the overhead of ng of uh, angular batarang and finding the elements and clicking on the various scopes. NG Inspector can be very useful. I often find myself clicking on NG Inspector far off, far more often than I click on Batarang.